guys so welcome back to my channel so this news has been flying over the net and i feel it's something that i need to address on my channel because no man is worth dying for not even in that in that manner not even in that manner so the news has it that these two couples have been married for years and um they have three kids three boys at that in an african society where male children are so much cherished so this woman gave you the best species that you wanted and this woman is a barrister both of them are lawyers actually so you will not say that this woman is a liability to you so to say then this woman is cute in every sense of it like you can see already on the screen she's a very pretty woman she's hardworking. she's she has given you kate and you people have been building your life till this point so it happens that according to the news that this man has a side chick and this woman got information to me i feel that maybe she has been confronting him at home and he has been denying owing to the fact that you do not have evidence you know we like evidence a lot and i don't know why we even worry our head with evidence even when you already know that this man is so irresponsible and he has been painting it all over you that he's so irresponsible like he, he has a side chick and if you know you can't deal why are you even going out for evidence like what would that evidence really do for you for an unrepentant man for a man who is neck deep into adultery for a man who has chosen to be rascal for a man who doesn't care who has chosen to respect you in every sense of it in every sense of it you still went out trying to get evidence is this like something you will tender to the court or something you will give your family members like i don't get it well it might be for court like it might be for court since they are both lawyers maybe if she really wants separation or divorce she needs a concrete evidence or something i don't know her reasons because me i am totally against that move i'm not saying this because she's already gone because you are not to blame the dead okay but i'm saying this for those of us who are still here and who are watching okay for and who might encounter this in the near future because there's no innocent man so to say out there we are all praying and covering our our own with the blood of jesus <laughs> like living under the grace of god to be honest and if anything happens tomorrow and you find your husband falling it is either you sit back and nurture him when he's repentant or you take a walk i don't see the reason why people should get into a fight okay now back to the story the news said that she got a tip that they were going out to shop in one shopping center around their vicinity so this woman went there and camped at the car park according to news according to the source that she waited for them at the car park when the man came out okay she didn't want to go inside the mall to create a scene this is a woman that still have her life ahead of her this is a woman that has that got kids she actually left her kids at home to come hey come on like i i don't even know where to start imagining like this beautiful life that is cut short just because of a side chick just because of something you do not have total control over you cannot really control a man you cannot so when she now came out to when she now saw them and they saw her the man wanted to like protect the side chick have you seen where the whole thing is paining me that the man could not even in public stand up for the wife that he could not even say oh she has caught me okay side chick or you go i'll meet you later then you try to calm your wife down no the man wanted to protect the side chick and they entered the car and zoomed off the woman now entered her own and started chasing the man so they were racing on the road and the woman lost control of her vehicle so it was a fatal accident when before people could come and take her to the hospital she lost the battle the question now is this why i'm making this video is just for us okay now she is gone i know you don't blame the dead will it make the man not to have side chicks tomorrow again will it now make the man 
to be totally repentant and for who this time because you are gone who is now who is he now repenting for who is he now coming back home to if you must give a testimony i keep telling you guys if you must give a testimony you have to tell yourself one thing it is me that should give the testimony so you have to be alive to give testimony no matter the trial no matter the circumstances no matter what is it that is facing you you need to be alive to testify so protect your life and your sanity first no matter the pressure a lot of things are happening in the society today but the one that drives us crazy is this extramarital affair because we do not see the reason why you should go out there why we are here we do not see the reason but whatever it is Whatever it is, it is not worth dying for. It is not even worth fighting over. It's not even worth exchanging words with somebody or creating a scene over. It's something that you need to call your man to order. Either on your knees or with words or with whatever that you know you can. Do your best and then leave it for God. Like, I feel so sorry for this, our sister. I feel so sorry for the family. I feel so sorry for the children. I feel so sorry for even the husband because he will perpetually live with this stigma. I feel so sorry for this kind of sad news. And I pray and I wish that we will learn from this and at least know that we need to protect ourselves first, our lives and our sanity. And until next time, guys, I wish you well. And I wish you real well. Bye.